Hi, this is Mark with NHA. This is an ABB CH550 series drive. I wanted to go over another thing that not many people use too often, um, but basically it's the operating data that this uh, drive will show you. It's actually very handy. Uh, the main display right here will show you, uh, these are all programmable, but at any rate, right now it's programmed for the top line to be percent rated speed, the middle line to be your output current, and the bottom line here is the signal that's coming up to the drive on your analog input from the computer. The top line and the soft key line doesn't really change unless you're you're changing state of you know hand up auto or or if you're in the program or not. But anyway, the thing that I wanted to show you is in the inside of the program a little bit. It's a little bit hidden, and uh, I'll step you through to show you where it's at. But push the menu button, and what we're basically shooting for here is I want to show you the operating data. So go to the main main group parameters, enter into that. It depends on where you left the drive. It's like, it'll remember its last known state, but typically it will pop up either on main group 99 startup data or it will pop up on operating data. If you select that and enter into that, it shows you a bunch of information as far as how the drive is performing and the motor is performing. Um, it's it's handy if you want to look at uh, maintenance information such as runtime. You can uh, do all sorts of uh, diagnostic with it. You can see if the motor is drawing too much power, what speed you're running, and so on. So it's kind of a handy little display. Not so much just the three. You can uh, three displays on the main display. You can look at a lot of information here. So I just want to go over it real quick with you. First one is RPM. Second one is your percent rated speed in RPM. And again, most of these are programmable, but this is your factory default. Uh, 103 is your output frequency, output current. So these are pretty much all, generically speaking, what the drive is doing and also what what the motor is pulling from it uh, percent rated torque percent rated power actually in kw your dc bus voltage that's very handy output voltage going to the motor drive temperature external reference one the reference one reference two external one ex external two can be very confusing the nice thing they did on the abb is external one goes to reference one external two goes to reference 2 9 times out of 10 so it's it kind of streamlines it a little bit on the older series drives you could have that uh, flip-flopped and it could drive you a little crazy but anyway the, the, the reference one is basically what what's the drive going to run at and in reference 1 mode reference 2 it's showing 29 percent control location this is very handy right now it says that it's in the hand mode run time this drive only has six hours on it KW counter uh, application block output. This is what is the drive actually outputting? You know, you know what is what is it going to give the motor when it gets the start commands? Right there was basically 30 uh, percent. Here's your digital inputs for one through three. A zero means uh, no command. A one would signify a command. So there's one, two, three. I can turn them back off and I'll go back to a zero. It's the same thing on d digital inputs number four, five, and six. Digital one or four is my run enable, so I'll leave that one closed, otherwise the drive will go into alarm. Five and six. And I'll leave four on. So that's kind of nice. That's a way of proving without a meter whether the drive sees that start stop signal or safety circuit. Your analog input number one. And two, this is what the drive sees as far as your your speed reference. Relay outputs, that's the relay outputs on the drive itself. Again, one means that it's closed, zero means that it's open. Uh, relay outputs four, five, and six. This drive has an expansion board on there that's mounted. I'll just show it to you real quick. Right there, that O-R-E-L-01. All that that is is it's basically a more relays. Analog output number one and two. Um, so it will show you what the drive is sending out. PID one and two outputs. PID set point one and two. And this one is handy, the feedback. This is what, what the sensor is actually feeding back to the drive. So you can see if the, if the drive is maintaining or doing its job properly. Uh, the deviation is basically how far off set point is the drive from what you have it programmed for. 
Uh, so you have PID 1 and 2 for deviation. Your control, com, uh, com word, com value, com value 2. That's off of this bottom port for your commu uh, communication, typically. Uh, process variable 1 and 2. These are programmable inputs. This is basically your your main display. Uh, you can change. Um, you got three to choose from. And basically you can uh, pick and pick and choose from a list that's quite long. Anyway, uh, runtime hour and KW, megawatt hour meter. Uh, a lot of this stuff, revolution counter, drive on time, 11 days, drive on time in hours, motor temperature, that's calculated, CB temp, that's control board temperature, uh, motor therm stress in percent, PID com value 1 and 2, uh, save KWH, uh, that's if you wanted to reset it and kind of trend it to see what it's doing month to month, some people do that. Uh, saved amount, this is all in the energy savings, this is again programmable, so this is where you get those displays to actually see what it's doing. Uh, CO2, save CO2, these are programmable as well, so you can actually see um, what the drive is calculating that it's that it's doing month to month, and that's a place where you can reset it and actually kind of keep tabs on it. Uh, FB command word 1, uh, these are more or less uh, the next few displays anyway are kind of um, service center um, and in the factory level displays and they're basically there for troubleshooting and whatnot so I'll just breeze through these a lot of the ones in the past there too I probably should have pointed that out but alarm word alarm word last fault panel loss uh, fault time and date uh, speed so this is your fault logger basically your frequency output voltage current it, so you can see there's a lot of information in here and not many people go into there um, because it just keeps going on and on and on <laughs> which can be good and bad I guess um, and then we're up to our fault logger so I'll back out of it but it's it's just stepping me through one after the other and it'll keep on going all the way up to main group 99 if you kept on pushing the down arrow but a lot of information in there starting with the output or the uh, um, drive operating data if you uh, wanted to troubleshoot the drive and, and take a look and see how things are set, you know, working, performing, that's a good place to start. So that's all I wanted to show you. Thanks.